Hello, hello everybody. This is Rhea with Posh Plum Plans and oh my gosh, I kind of went crazy. Look at all this stuff. Okay, so obviously by the title we are doing a haul video and I have tons to show you. So I've been stocking up on this haul for a little bit now and by a little bit I mean maybe two weeks. I kind of went crazy with the spring release because Joann's is doing a uh, clearance and everybody's got something on sale whether it's old happy planner stuff or new happy planner stuff so i've got just so very much to show you guys let me get the stickers i'm going to try to separate all this stuff into clearance because as you can see some of it is clearance so i'm going to try to separate some of it out so that i don't know this video has some sense to it <laughs> and it's kind of like uh a haul video that makes a lot of sense. So I've got planners, I've got expansion packs, I've got stickers, I've got guides. I mean, I just, I have everything here. So let's break it down and go through it item by item. All right, let's do some of this clearancey stuff first. So anytime I see rings on clearance, I always pick them up. Rings on clearance to me are a really good price and everybody uses rings, right? So if your mood changes and you want some new rings, definitely pick up when they're on clearance. These are $247, I love that price. So I got two of them. And then I have never owned any of the Happy Planner sticky notes before. And so I got one in classic and one in mini only because I liked the designs. They have so many of these on clearance right now. I mean, I could have gone absolutely crazier than I did, <laughs> but I only bought what I bought because I actually liked it and I saw myself using this stuff. And then these, I have one box of these sticker rolls. And of course, being on clearance, I just thought you can't beat $4 a box for these. I don't remember how much these were normally, but $4 a box for these. These are the home life, and then I got the menu, and then I got the schedule. So I really like functional, productive planning, and that's what these sticker rolls represent for me. So I like that if I need a sticker real quick, bam, I know exactly what to do. Go to which roll, and you can grab just the sticker that you need. So I really liked the idea of these when they came out. Granted, I will say that sometimes they're a little hard to store, but they're still super cute, super functional. Okay, next we'll go through these two items. This one here in particular, I don't know if it was part of the new spring release. I don't think it was. And uh, this was definitely not part of the new spring release, but this stuff wasn't on clearance. I think this was just like a regular 30% off or something. And so I had to pick it up. So this one here is the mini expansion pack for budgeting. I keep a mini planner with me always on the go and I found myself really wanting to look back at my budget planner when I was out and about and I don't keep my budget planner with me. It's a classic size planner that I leave at home and I really enjoy having a classic size planner that is completely dedicated to budgeting because it's not distracting and when I open that planner I know I am thinking finances and that is it. So. Like I said, I found myself out and about really wanting to know what I had in my budget planner and if I don't have it in my mini planner, then I don't have it when I'm out and about. So this is gonna change all that for me. So I just showed you all of the, the different uh, dashboards that come with it, the stickers, and then the cutest, cutest pocket ever. I really, really liked what they were doing with budgeting, even now, like the they're doing like that pastel rainbow for budgets, and I really love the color scheme that they're doing for budgeting. I don't know why it appeals to me so much. Okay, this guy, I got a couple of these dashboards. I love the dashboards. This is from Happy Hostess. So there is a super skinny one, and then two like regular, regular width in here and you know they're just easy for putting in your planner and finding your place and that's simply why I got this because I love having top tabs so I can just reach in a planner flip it open and find exactly where I am these were definitely part of clearance some of them are even marked clearance oh some of these might have been just the 30% off so I got productivity 
colorful boxes, holidays and seasons, fun florals, and bold and bright. This is my first experience ever doing these mini books. Super cute, great idea, especially with some of the brand brand new Happy Planner stuff. I think I'm gonna pick up some of those simply because if you, let's take the fun florals for example. If you like the book but you're not really ready to jump full into something like fun florals and spend the $20 or whatever that would be if you got that Michaels or Joann's coupon, if you're not ready to really fully jump into a sticker book, I really recommend these because you get just a touch of what the sticker book, the big sticker book might offer in just a smaller format. So if you really wanted to tiptoe into something, I recommend getting these and then you can see whether or not you really like them and see if it would make sense for you to buy the actual big pack of the sticker book or the little sticker pad that you purchased. Okay, I think these are the last two things that I got that were not part of the spring release. These were like super duper clearance because I think they are still 2019 in these books. Um, but both of these books, they are not new obviously like I said, but they're new to me and I love both of these books. I have been eyeing this for months and months and months and they've got the classic which is what I have here. Both of these are classic. They've got the skinny classic, the skinny mini in this particular design and I totally forgot what it's called. It's got a super cute name. I will put it over here so that you guys know what it's called if you want to pick it up. And let's just flip through it real quick. So yes, there is 2019 in here. I'm not worried about that. I love this book, honestly, because it is so beautiful to me. So definitely one of the things that I'm gonna do when I am done with this planner is I am going to take it all apart. Yes, it is a dashboard layout. I'm gonna take it all apart and I am going to use the dashboards as wall art. I love the idea of doing that. I've seen a couple girls do that, just kind of like cut these out and frame them, put them on the wall, make, um, you could even make a, a cute little desk art out of them, and I just think they're so beautiful, so I've gotta do that, I really do. There's a lot of good foiling in this book, and you know, guys, when you're in Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby and you see all this clearance for the older planner books, if you see something that you really like, definitely grab it because there are so many ways to redate these sticker, sorry, redate these planners. Like you can enjoy these designs for, you know, the entire next year and still make it fresh for uh, whatever time frame you want to use it for. So I know for myself, I'm definitely gonna be using this one. I really like it. And looking at the spring release, I'll be honest, there weren't a whole lot that really spoke to me as much as something like this. I find that I gear more towards creative things and I really like the paints and the watercolor. Actually, this honestly looks a little bit more like alcohol paints, not necessarily watercolor, but beautiful and they really appeal to the artist in me. So that's why I had to grab this one. There are some from the new line um, that are a little bit more with the geodes and the crystals and kind of that woo-woo <laughs> kind of life that I really like. So there are some things that were really appealing to me in this spring release, but I picked these up just because, like I said, I had wanted this one for quite some time and now I've got my hands on it. All right, next one is get busy babe on the front i love this one because it was well first of all i love this one because it is vertical lined i am vertical lined do or die that is my layout i love vertical lined so of course this is the year at a glance that we all love and once we get into january you can see what the vertical line is like I always like writing with lines. The fact that these top boxes don't have lines makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Like if, honestly, if there was a planner that was perfect for me, it would be lines all the way down. Even if they wanted to do color blocking at the top, I'd be fine with that. But I love lines. It's just 
easier for me to write on. So this is what this planner looks like and it's a little either intimidating or challenging, I don't know what word you want to use, for people who like to decoratively plan because there is a very, very dominant color scheme going on in here. If you don't like rainbow, you're kind of out of luck for this one. Um, sure, you can selectively cover up, you know, let's say that you wanted to do something that was all the warm colors and you could cover up all the cool colors and just go off of this and cover this all up with either blank sticker paper or stickers that's a lot of work to me so i am just going to embrace the pastel rainbow i love it let's just keep flipping through the different dashboards here i'm going to do this quickly because like i said it was a big haul and i don't want to take up too much of your time because i know it's super valuable but these are worth flipping through. These dashboards are so pretty. They're just really, really inspirational to me. Like when I see them, it's gonna be okay, guys. <laughs> when I see them, I just feel super inspired and happy. And isn't that the point of a happy planner? All right, so that's it for this guy. Again, let me see, where were we in here? Was this 2020? I can't even remember. Yeah, 2020, 2021, uh, but I purchased it in March. So January and February technically aren't months that I could use, but if I wanted to use this one as maybe a memory planner, I could definitely go back and fill up January and February, most of March, and then keep going for the rest of the year. All right, moving on. Okay, guys, my life changed. Did yours? Oh my goodness. So these are the sticker planning guides, mini classic. Can't believe I got my hands on these because this one in particular is sold out. I actually purchased two of these when they first came out and Joann's hasn't been able to fulfill my order. So I'm still waiting on the second one, but at least I got one of each for now. And these have totally changed my life. I love the idea of being able to plan and move and do prepared spreads like in advance basically. So what I've been doing with these is as someone with a YouTube channel, I have been using these to sit in the living room at night and just watch my TV and plan my spreads out and know that I don't have to do it in front of a camera. When the lighting is right, I can just do it in the comfort of you know my evening time and then when I do put it in front of the camera, it's already ready to go, saves a whole lot of time. So for somebody who has a YouTube channel, these are awesome. If you don't have a YouTube channel, these are still awesome because you can put your stickers down and move them around and not worry about um, ripping anything. These are clear plastic sheets that you put inside your Happy Planner to basically use as guides. So I'll show you a quick example of some of these that I have been using. It's a little bit of a spoiler alert because I do plan on showing this spread in a video, but I will show you really quickly how I have been using it. So in this one again, dashboard layout, if I flip this open, you can kind of see where I'm going with this, but they are, all of the stickers are on the guides. So I could just take these out and you're left with a blank planner that you have not yet laid your stickers on. So love these. I'm not gonna go over this too much more because like I said, I'm gonna do that spread in a video. So if you wanna see that, you gotta stay tuned. So those were part of spring release. This is part of spring release. Again, I just got some more dashboards in that pastel rainbow because I am in love with the pastel rainbow. So I got a couple more of those. I didn't show you originally because like I said, this is part of spring release. And last but not least. <laughs> I kind of went crazy with some sticker books. Now these are all new to me and some of these are spring release and some of these are not. So here we go. Here's some clearance. I'm just going to kind of um, separate these out. Some of these are newer than others. Some of these I've had for a little bit and I've already put my tassel up at the top. Oh, man. Now I am not sure what was part of spring release and what wasn't. Oh my gosh, all the sticker books just kind of meld together. So I know these for sure were part of spring release. So let's go over those really quick. And I'm not gonna do full on flip throughs in this video. This video, we're just gonna do the haul. If you want to see flip throughs, I can definitely do them, but we'll just go through these really quick. So, happy and kind faith. I got this one 
because I am doing a lot more spirituality and a lot more faith in 2020 and I wanted to kind of use these stickers to be a nice motivation for that and they definitely are these stickers in particular oh my gosh are hilarious and so cute messages from God can we not so cute let's see colorful boxes you have to have the colorful boxes I mean am I wrong these are so useful so functional in every spread you got to have colorful boxes okay stronger together this one really appealed to me because again it's got kind of that pastel rainbow look to it and I just love the idea behind it so you know stronger together when girls stick together we are stronger together and that just spoke to me thought that was really cute so I had to pick that up I didn't pick up every book out of the spring release for well a couple of reasons one all of the books were not available to me and two not all of them spoke to me so I am only trying to buy the happy planner stuff that really speaks to me that I feel like I'm going to use and the adulting definitely stickers in here I would use I do like the amount of functional stickers in here that um, are just really really helpful and then of course the quotes in the front they're just really helpful when you're trying to be a functional yet decorative planner year to shine this one I almost didn't get just because the color scheme to me feels very to color like it feels like those pinks and peaches and then those blues and greens like it just feels a little bit one note to me but then I thought well I'm definitely gonna get this because if I'm ever I don't know in a rut or in need of a uh, idea for color scheme it was really easy to come into year to shine and um, just <laughs> hi Gigi it is really easy to come into year to shine and just um, easily have a spread all laid out for you so this one is color story big I will be honest I'm not sure I cannot remember if this is part of spring release it looks like it would be because all of these are kind of along that same uh, along the same theme like kind of those watercolor splotches oh yeah the cheetah that's kind of new right the balloons are not necessarily new the tassels and those balloons gosh you guys I don't know I can't remember if this is part of spring release or not thought it was color me happy is again that color scheme that I love so much I love these stickers these are so nice to like emphasize something <laughs> GG and again just really really high vibe super colorful and another easy place to come and um, an easy book to find your next layout in because everything is so perfectly coordinated and then mood tracking so I am not a big mood tracker um, I do like to bullet journal and you know there's mood trackers all in bullet journaling which is where I first found out about mood trackers there are definitely mood trackers in happy planner stuff but oh my gosh those reminder stickers so cute uh, but I got this one just because there was a lot more in here to me than just mood tracking like I think I was a little bit naive when I first heard of this book but self-care is in here and I really love the idea of self-care being a mom of three you definitely have to remember yourself in addition to your children and so this book I feel is gonna help me do that Okay, last books that I'm gonna go through are not new books, but they're new to me. So I wanted to go through them really quickly. Um, like I said, some of these already have tassels. I've had these for, I don't know, a couple weeks and I've already done the tassels on the top. So let's go through those really quick. Fitness, I always grab the fitness books because I do love me some fitness. And these are really pretty. I love the new color schemes that they're doing. Oh, I really like those water intake. I think those are super cute. So getting those was absolutely mandatory for me because all of this stuff, <laughs> cardio is hardio. <laughs> it's so funny. All of these are really motivational when I'm working out or when I'm planning a workout in my planner. I just love looking at those when I'm doing that. Sassy plans. I was doing something I was planning a spread and all of mine are all my sticker books are like super super positive good vibes happy stuff like that and there was like one day when I was like do they have anything that is just a little <laughs> I don't know crude not necessarily crude sassy 
and then enter Sassy Plans book. I thought I have to get this for those days when, you know, growing up <laughs> is not fun or adulting is not the best. Um, yeah, so definitely grabbed the Sassy Plans book. Color story, self-explanatory, you guys. So easy to design a spread by using these color story books. And I love them. Oh my gosh, the unicorns. Did you see the unicorns, Gigi? Yeah, so cute. <laughs> so cute. Oh, see, and there's those painter stickers that I fell in love with. So I can do a painter spread in my painter planner, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. I love that color storybook. And then I'm going to save that one for last. This one, these two at least for sure, clearance. So let's go over Digital Detox because this is kind of a newer one, not part of spring release. But Digital Detox, I think, is, well, I feel like it was super important a few weeks ago, but now with COVID-19, I feel like that might be the only thing that we have left to connect with each other. So plugging in is kind of an important thing lately. Um, you know, agree or disagree, I don't know, but I just think that being able to connect with people through technology is something that we can do nowadays, and that's that's really cool in a time when you're not supposed to physically be with people. So, Happy Memory Keeping. These were two books that I had never picked up before, so being on clearance, less than 10 bucks, $7.47. I decided I definitely wanted to pick these up finally. These are always so helpful for me, especially because I try to um, use planners that are not necessarily in the right year. So these still have 2016, 2017, 2018 stickers in them. So this book is obviously a little bit old, but I never had it. And I will definitely be using these to redate my planners to make them current. Okay, and then Year of Memories was, again, I wasn't necessarily called to this one, but for less than $8, I had to get it. And I know I'll use these because I love the seasonal kinds of stickers. Seasonal spreads are sometimes kind of cheesy, but sometimes kind of fun. <laughs> Anybody else agree? And then probably my most favorite sticker book ever. I saw this online when it first came out, made a mental note that I wanted to pick it up, and I feel like my Joann's never had it. So I went to a Joann's that was, I don't know, maybe about an hour away from me. Yes, I traveled an hour for stickers, don't judge me. <laughs> but I found this book and just fell in love. I love the animals, I love especially the sloth. Of course, the color scheme is like perfect. And this is a book where I look at it and every sticker appeals to me and I'm going to try my hardest not to hoard this book. You know what makes it easier to not hoard stickers? Having duplicates. Okay, don't judge me, but I really did just say that. If you have two of a sticker book, it makes it a lot easier to use it because you have a backup. <laughs> Social pressure. Okay. So that is going to do it for me, guys. That is my entire haul. This video was probably really long, so thank you for sticking with it. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!